Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will continue to learn about sublime text. In particular, we will learn how to customize our key bindings or keyboard shortcuts. Let's dive into an example. So here is a demo HTML page and we can see that it doesn't have proper indentation. It doesn't have any indentation. Now to fix this, we learned in an earlier lesson that we can select everything and then from the menu choose edit, line, and then re-indent. But navigating through this menu is not very efficient. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a keyboard command for re-indent? Now we can see along the right hand side of this menu that most commands in Sublime Text ship with a keyboard shortcut out of the box, but not all of them do. So in this lesson, we will learn about key bindings so we can add a keyboard shortcut for this re-indent command. Let's get started. All right, so the first step is to look for the preferences menu. On PC, that will be in the main Sublime Text menu. On Mac, it's under Sublime Text Preferences. And we are looking for Key Bindings User. This will open a nearly empty file with nothing but a pair of square brackets. Now within these square brackets, let's create our first custom key binding. So we will use curly brackets, quotes, keys, colon, set of square brackets, quotes, let's leave this empty for the time being, comma, command, colon, and another set of quotes. All right, so this is the skeleton for a key binding. So in this last set of quotes, we include the name of the command that we are interested in. So in this case, that's re-indent. And in this set of quotes, we include the keyboard combo that should trigger this command. So I will use Control Shift I. Feel free to use any keyboard combo that you would like. I will save this file and let's give it a spin. So over in our test HTML page, let's make sure that all of our text is selected and then Control Shift I. Hooray! So the magical re-indent command was successfully triggered by our keyboard shortcut. Now at this point, I think the most common question that will pop into your mind is how do I know the code name for the command that I'm interested in? Now re-indent is a bit obvious, but what if we were interested in a command that is made up of multiple words? So for example, what if we wanted this text that reads the puppy understood four commands to use title case? So we wanted to convert it so that every first letter of each word was capitalized. We could go edit, convert case, title case. Now we see that this option does not have a keyboard command. So let's imagine that we want to map this command to control shift C. So in our key map file, we can just copy and paste this line that we created. Let's add a comma though at the end of the first line paste in the new line. So we will change the keyboard command to control shift C. And now here is the million dollar question. What is the code name for the command of convert to title case? Does it use a hyphen between the words or an underscore or does it use camel case? I have no idea. So to find out the correct name, we can Google for it or the route that we will be taking is we can use the sublime text console. So let's pull open the console, click view, and then show console. And down here at the bottom, we want to enable command logging so we can see the name of commands. So type sublime dot log commands, and we want to set this to true. Hit enter or return. Now, essentially everything we do in sublime text, you can see that even just clicking or dragging is logged down here in the console. So now we can just go down to an empty spot and run edit convert title case. So we didn't really run it on anything, but we can see that in the console log, its name is title underscore case. So now we can use that in these quotes, title underscore case. Now, if you're like me, once you know the name of this command, you will probably want to disable command logging. So back down here in the command prompt, you can hit the up arrow on your keyboard to pull up the last line that you typed and then just set true 
to false and hit enter or return again. Excellent, so the console will not be polluted with all of those commands and then just hit escape to close the console. And let's go test out this new keyboard command. So I will save this file, jump over to the demo HTML. Let's select this puppy text, control shift C on my keyboard and there you have it. And that will bring this lesson to a close. I hope you feel like you learned something. In our next lesson, we will learn about Sublime Text macros. We will learn what a macro is, how to record one, save one, and even bind one to a keyboard shortcut. That should be a lot of fun. I will see you then. The lesson you just watched is a part of my web development workflow course. The course covers Sublime Text, SAS architecture and organization, Git, Grunt, Bower, and more, and we use all of this to build a modern website together. The lessons that are about a single tool will be available for free on YouTube, and the lessons where we really sink our teeth into something or see how two or three tools are coming together, or maybe write a bit of custom CSS or JavaScript together, will be part of the premium course. If you want to be notified when the premium course is released, you can sign up via the description for this video. Or if you're watching this video in the future, the course has been released and you can find a heavily discounted coupon code in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.